Hello everybody in this Science Tech Girl initiative. Bonjour, mesdemoiselles, mesdames, messieurs. I'm really sorry not to be directly with you today. You know that I will be there on Friday to discuss an exchange with you, but I wanted this morning for you all to say hello and to begin explaining maybe a little bit why I'm with you. I know this initiative for a while, but when Haute de Twain came to me a few months ago in order to see how I can contribute and be, to be with you, I really accepted this uh, role, maybe to be a patron of this science tech initiative, une marraine, dirait-on en français, uh, accepted really with a great pleasure, because I had this uh, wonderful opportunity to have a full life of opportunities in different fields, and I wanted to share that with you, to be with you, to exchange, to take into account your comments, your concerns, and maybe together to make a little road in order to develop this initiative. As you know, maybe, I had a first part of my career as a medical doctor in the field of rheumatology, then as a researcher in the field of neuroscience, and I had this great opportunity to be selected as an astronaut by the French uh, Space Center. And it was in 85, and I've been selected at that time to be a researcher within this program of microgravity in a space station. And I had the opportunity to begin a training and to become really an astronaut. And I had two flights opportunity, one in 96 on board the Mir station, and the second one in 2001 on board the International Space Station. I was at that time, and still, the only female astronaut in the ESA astronaut body. Science and technology is really in the core of this new knowledge society and knowledge economy. And really that's important that you, young girls and women, you would be involved in it. I would say that the career of researchers, the career of engineers, are really an opportunity today because you will be really in the heart of the development of this new society. And I would say also that being a woman, it's a wonderful opportunity today. It was not the case some years ago, but I think really now there is a well understanding from the companies, from the research organism to involve women in the development of this kind of activities. To be involved in science and technology careers, it's really a great opportunity for you, but you have to grasp this opportunity. So maybe some advice is for you. The first one, why not me? You can do it. Second advice is, don't try to be perfect. If you are always looking for the perfection in everything, you will not go further, you will not involve yourself, and you have to go. And a third advice, maybe, don't try to be a man. You are women, young girls, with your qualities, with your differences, but it's also what will give you this opportunity to be recognized and to be completely active in this field of uh, life, science, technology, they need you. So, dear Hall, I'm not with you today, but really I wanted to send you my best wishes, I would say personal wishes to each of you here for your career, for your choice, for your life. I would like also to send my best wishes for this wonderful initiative, which is the Science Tech Girl Initiative. And I hope really we will have the possibility to grow, to raise the attention, to change maybe some behavior altogether. And for some of you, maybe I will have the opportunity to discuss personally on Friday in the forum, and I would be delighted to do so. So bye-bye, everybody.